Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at a relationship scenario that many of you may be going through now, but certainly may have already gone through it or um, will be going through it in the future, where I'm going to take a look at the dynamic between two individuals um, and then look at how their distortions and their unconscious shadows could be playing out as they try to navigate the relationship scenario. This is those of you that are in my soul growth accelerator. This is like the, what I call the divine versus the distorted series that I do in my soul growth accelerator, but we're going to look at a specific relationship energy situation. Um, and it's, there's no date specific to this. So whenever you watch it is when it will resonate, um, or not, right. It's not everybody's story. So, um, and then what we're going to do is take a look at what is happening in the scenario and how their shadows could be playing out. And, um, with that also, I, oh my gosh, what was I going to say? I'm actually recording this on the peak of the Lionsgate portal, August 8th. And, um, those of you that are watching this real time, the portal does go through the 12th of August. It's been since uh, July 26th. Please, please, please watch the videos I did on the Lionsgate here because if you haven't yet done so or rewatch them if you have, because guys, this powerful, por this portal is crazy. I know many of you have been um, talking about how you have been experiencing it. So again, this isn't specific to the Lionsgate portal, just so happens to be when I'm recording it. So let's see what's going on in this particular relationship scenario. What is going on in this relationship scenario? There it is. All right, I do have to share a vision I was given prior to turning on the camera. And this is exactly the energy I was getting. Um, where things are kind of topsy-turvy, up in the air. Things are happening, emotions are running high, but nothing's quite solid yet. But what this is doing is it's stirring up emotions in order to let go of things that have been either hidden, left unsaid. Um, it's almost like this is the final storm before the calm. And I, I, I'm going to share the vision because it makes it totally relates to these energies. I was shown a spinning coin, like someone who spun a coin and it's spinning and spinning on a table. And what happens is that spinning starts to slow down. It starts to wobble, right? It starts to, instead of like spinning in a circle, it starts to wobble around like this. And then eventually it goes round and around and around and around and then it settles and it goes flat on the table. And that is the vision I was shown which is exactly what this energy is, where it's like things have been spun out of, almost like spun into action. It's been a frenzy of energy, a frenzy of activity, but what it's doing is it's allowing things to let go. And eventually it's going to release down into a new balance, a new equilibrium. And so what I see is that this is where, you know, whether this is, and we're going to get some more cards to see before I say any more, but this could be a scenario where a relationship is either, it's two scenarios. So the energies could still apply, but it's where either a relationship has been in the process of potentially coming to an end or something needs to, the air needs to be cleared in order to, to, to go to a better place in order to up level the relationship to a new timeline. So let's actually add to this. Let's look at the energy of, I will use the terms masculine and feminine guys, just because that's how I'm used to doing it, but feel free to apply the energies to it's, it's it be, uh, to any character in the story. And also understand that you can watch this for your inner masculine and feminine, which I always recommend prioritizing. This could certainly be a dialogue within self. So let's look at the masculine energy specific to this connection in the recent past. New moon in Aquarius, the current energy, and there's that communication. Wanting to clear the air. So what I'm seeing, okay. What I'm seeing here is this is more likely a reconciliation scenario instead of a breakup scenario. But let's see how the feminine energy is in this scenario. 
the eclipse energy the chain oh yeah another eclipse energy <laughs> feminine's like ready for a breakthrough take time to breathe out okay I feel like, all right, I feel like this is a relation. Okay, this is the scenario I'm getting. I'm going to get some tarot. Overall feminine. Overall masculine. Be bold to make the person move. All right, this is a relationship scenario where there's a desire to open up, to be authentic, um, to break an energy, to break the tension, to break the emotional tension. And while there is a desire to, and, and, and it, there is a desire to open up and to talk about what needs to be talked about to clear the air, the feminine here is expecting that this is going to be a massive breakthrough and a massive change. Um, and at the and while there is a change, while there is a tangible change, this conversation may go a little bit differently than expected. This may be a conversation where the buildup to the conversation has been pretty big. And then when it's had, it's going to um, bring up some things for either for both the masculine and the feminine to sort of let go of some tension. Because this is an energy where this masculine is um, has been feeling the call to make a move, to open up communication to be authentic, to open up his heart, to explain what he desires. And to me, this is breaking um, a period of time for the feminine, where for the other person, where it's like, maybe, you know, it, it's been waiting for the information that something has come to an end in order to bring about new beginning. This is the scenario that I find even though this is timeless, whenever you find this, this will, um, this is when you're meant to hear it. This is consistent with a lot of the energies I've been getting in the readings, which is the transition time. Two people that at the end of the day are sort of meant to come together in a very powerful connection. One or both of them are are transitioning out of another situation, likely another relationship, but not, doesn't have to be another relationship. But it's like, this is the conversation where it's like, yay, finally, you're done with that situation. One person thinks, let's time to get started, let's go. And then the other one is like, yes, I want to go, I want to do this, but then the fear comes up. And there's a feeling of almost like needing to let go and take a deep breath, because this is when holy crap, what we desire is happening and all of this unexpected fear bubbles in and, um, or I should say rises up. And that's when this couple is dealing with this. So I'm going to keep going here for a little bit. And we'll also at the end, do stay tuned for the end. I will be giving guidance for this situation. But um, for those of you interested, I will be continuing this dialogue in an extended where I sit down with both of these individuals and we we have a conversation. My 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 world famous <laughs> my world famous somebody said that in a comment. Um, couples therapy videos I've done for years, um, and that will be in the extended if you're interested. That link is always in the description box below. So let's add to this. Let's add to this. What is happening here? Emotions definitely running high, and there's a this is an integration. It's interesting. I was getting the vision of the coin, kind of balancing, integrating into a new equilibrium. So there's been an energy of needing to still allow transitions to take place, and the negativity that is time to let go of are the fears, the fact that this is. Um, is this real? Is this an illusion? This is when the shadows are could are playing out because when the stakes are high emotionally, that's when they play out. And what's on its way in here is a bright new future. You know, it's almost like this is the pre-conversation to the official let's get going. 
We have a bright new future up ahead. We're wrapping things up. And the masculine. Interesting, the Eight of Swords. And the feminine with the waning moon energy, the Four of Wands, she's excited. So it's looking more and more like this is the situation where there's almost like a sigh of relief in the feminine's world. And while the masculine has all this new moon energy ready for this new beginning, there is an element of just, you know, knowing this new start is bringing beautiful new things, a beautiful new beginning, doesn't mean that there aren't fears coming in. And the feminine here gets the hierophant. It's like spiritually she's known this is on its way. Wow, the hierophant and the high priestess, the king of wands. Yeah, there's, this is when the masculine honestly is taking the breath away of the divine feminine. There's this feeling of like, oh my gosh, we're ready to do this. And wow, is he powerful. This is where the masculine has shown up in a way where it's like, all right, let's do this thing. He wants to bring love into the situation. Look at all these major arcana already one two three four five out of eight cards major arcana so this is where the masculine is being courageous and opening up to the to the feminine and he's ready to speak about and to come out of hibernation here ready to talk about what he's learned what he wants because he also gets this ace of wands this is this exciting new start with the very bright future so this is kind of a, a situation of, this is a situation of like, oh my gosh, we're actually doing this. So, um, and I know many of you guys are in this because I've been doing personal readings. I'm literally, I think I've done like 200 personal readings in the last several months. And it's crazy how many of you are in this situation. So, um, yeah. Here it is. <laughs> so even more important that we're looking at how you are being strong and how your um, distortions could be playing out in this scenario. Unconsciously. So I want to take a look at this. So how is this that the masculine is being really strong? <clears throat> He's got his eye on the prize. He knows what he wants. He's made his decision. He is acting on his decisions. He is definitely coming out of a quiet time and ready to communicate his truth and his decisions. And what he's trying, what he's also doing is his fear. He's a little afraid of this becoming a reality out in the public. So while he is excited about, it's like he's almost afraid of what other, not what other people may think, but there's an element of, he's trying to hide his fears. He's trying to keep them hidden. It's like he's putting these mental fears down. Because this is the seven of swords, but you'll see in this depiction, none of the swords are in his hand. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to let the, Those mental thoughts, I'm going to put them aside because I'm going to follow my passion and my purpose. So this is where he's being very strong. It's like he knows where he's going, making choices, doing what he has to do, being decisive. And he's consciously not allowing any of the sort of that, you know, the fears speak to him in his own head. He's like, no, 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 no. I know while the fears are coming up, I'm not going to feel like these are legitimate fears. It's like, I'm going to hear them, but go, no, 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 that's not like, don't be ridiculous. This is, this is a really exciting new beginning. There's a really bright future here. This is the right thing. I'm excited. 
So this is sort of like after the communication, there's this sense of, okay, because it's now out in the open, we now, like, this is, a re this is real now. It's because we've spoken it. This is real. So how is the um, distortion? Let's see where the, where the feminine is being strong. And then we're going to look at how they could be playing out in their shadows. How is the, the feminine energy here being really strong during this scenario? Page of Cups, Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. So where the feminine here is being strong is she's understanding that um, spiritually any, any relationship that maybe has been either got like any relationship that's not meant to continue is leaving spiritually there's this understanding that when things aren't meant to continue they're meant to be done which then opens up to new starts and so see how this fish has jumped out of the cup that the page was holding Where it's like, there's this feeling that she knows spiritually that the masculine has answered the call, that he does not want to lose out on a chance to bring love into the situation with her. It's almost like he, she intuitively knows that the divine has guided this masculine to her for a divine purpose. And where she's being really strong is that while she may still have an element of if the of while there still might be these fears but prior to the communication because look this is the communication is coming in it's on its way in he's grabbing his sword of communication he doesn't quite have it in his hand yet so it's on the brink of the communication that needs to happen and she's fighting off her fears. She's slaying the dragon. She's like, no, I know the truth. I don't care if my fears try to keep me up at night. I know you're just trying to keep this from me. But I know my truth. And I, while I'm trusting in my intuition, there is major powerful change here. You don't get two eclipse energies in the row for the feminine on a whim. That's just not something that happens every day. And where she's also being strong is understanding that she is now going to be receiving this partnership that's becoming finally a reality, one that has longevity, one that is real. She's being very kind and understanding, and she's living in her abundance. It's like finally she's receiving her benefit from being in her power this whole time. So let's now look at the distortions where the shadows could be coming in for each of them. So where could the shadows be coming in in this situation right now for the masculine? Eight of Swords again. The Magician. And the Star. Okay, what I have here is the masculine, even though he's he's chosen to move forward with this newbie, like it's time to do this, where his distortion might come out is almost feeling like he, like he's going to vacillate between feeling powerful and feeling helpless. Right. There's that back and forth where it's like, I feel strong. And then the next moment, oh, crap, I feel helpless. What if like, what if I'm a not in power? So he's vacillating in his feeling of power. And where his distortion also will come out and where his shadow could be playing out is there could be potentially some. interference 
with clear communication. It's almost like he's ready to communicate, is communicating, bringing his sort of truth. Yet the shadow could be a little bit in not having complete clarity in the communication. Like notice how there's some clouds around this guy. It's not crystal clear. So it's sort of like foggy communication. Someone who's almost dancing around the topics instead of just cutting to the chase. So pay attention to that if that is what you're going through. We're going to discuss that over in the extended with the dialogue between these two. Um, because again, you see how the feminine here, there's this dragon hissing at her. And the sword of truth is here. And it's like, no, no, no. I know that this communication isn't completely. I know the truth. I have the clarity. And I'm going to help dispel through any shady, cloudy communication that's not direct. So this is how she's almost not helping the masculine, but has the wisdom to understand what the masculine could be struggling with because she is the divine feminine. She is highly intuitive. But also where he may, um, his distortions could play out, is he again vacillating between, is this like being hopeful and being scared of like, of is this real, is this not? There's definitely like the excitement and then, oh my gosh, what if I'm wrong? I know it's going to be successful, but what if it isn't? It's that kind of energy. So let's look at how the feminine shadow could be playing out here. But I honestly feel like this is very minor. You know, this is what to pay attention to. But I feel like the masculine is in a much stronger place. With both the magician and the star, that's pretty powerful, empowered energy. That's hopeful. That's destined. But there could be this feeling of like, I think this is my destiny. I feel like I've manifested this. But what if I'm going down into my demise, right? That's just the unconscious fears. This is why he has the fears coming in. But I feel like overall he feels very strong. So let's see what the feminine, let's see how her shadows could play out, even if, let's see where her energy, oh, I see, yep, okay, I got it, uh, all right, this is the tough, this is tough love here for the feminine, okay, where her shadows could play out is almost getting excited prematurely or going out and like telling other people and celebrating too soon. Not that she's not going to have something to celebrate, but don't preempt the conversation. Like don't jump to the conclusion of already getting to this big party, this big celebration before you take the steps and before the process has a time to unfold. Especially if this communi initial communication here isn't quite clear. While she knows that she knows the truth and that there are some forces trying to distort the conversation. She might feel a little bit like, I thought we were getting started, but oh crap, maybe we're not. Because again, I feel like there's a transition time happening here. And you can't simply move on from something and jump right into something else. There needs to be a transition. And so where her distortion could come out is like almost jumping the gun to, to have a party and celebrate before it's really solid. See how she in the near future here is receiving the pentacle. The, ma the masculine is taking the lead. But here her distortion could come in to try to help heal the masculine to chase the masculine because do you see how he's withdrawing here with the four of swords energy and she's bringing him a flower like please like come back and talk to me 
Um, this is where, remember guys, um, I have a video called How the Feminine Helps to Heal the Masculine. Please go watch that. If this is your shadow coming in, don't like allow the, it's, this is how the shadow could play out. Many of you are in the place where you know you're not going to do that. But the temptation could be there, okay? That's why there's this is like a preemptive conversation I'm having, which is don't jump the gun. Don't go too fast. Don't also think that things aren't beginning. Don't doubt the universe. Don't think, don't doubt your intuition. Don't doubt the guidance you've been given. Don't second guess it. But also allow the masculine a little space to integrate this new beginning. Allow the space. Also, I do have a playlist, guys, called the Initial Stages of Sacred Union here on the channel. Please check it out because there's a lot of videos I have there to help you navigate this very critical time. So this isn't the only video I have about this. I have others. But more and more of you are in this exact situation now. And again, whenever you're now, meaning whenever you're watching this video and you were drawn to it. So overall, there's a bright future ahead here. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to leave you with a little guidance. Um, in the extended, I'm going to sit down and actually have a couples therapy session where I sit down with both of these individuals and facilitate a dialogue between the two of them. Um, that link is down below. But for those of you not going to the extended, I'm going to leave you with a guidance message for each. So what is the best guidance for the masculine for this situation what is the best guidance for the masculine stay focused hold the course don't get distracted you know where you're going you're planning on where you're going stay the course divine masculine don't let your fears stop you this is about you've been shown where you want to go the stars are aligning but don't get distracted don't let your fears stop you. Now, what is the best guidance for the feminine in this situation? What is the best guidance for the feminine, please? Fellow travelers, support is all around you. Okay. So this is saying to, saying to the feminine, listen, while this is happening, know that the universe is supporting you. Look for signs, look for synchronicities that you're continuing to be on the right path. Ask for the support from your guides, ask for support from trusted friends. Those, out, those who are on this journey, many people are not, and they won't understand. So it's like, you know, don't ask the plumber for advice about how to knit a sweater. Like, you just don't do that. And it's the same thing here. So if it means continuing to stay plugged into guidance and videos or an online community of people that get what you're going through, whatever it takes. So my friends, um, hopefully you like this video. Do give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Um, and hit the subscribe and the notifications bell if you want to get notified. If you'd like a private reading, the link is down below. If the readings are sold out, check back in a couple of days because I do release them periodically. Um, in small batches because I don't want to get a, a six month waiting list for the readings. And, um, so I'm keep, I'm kind of releasing them in small batches periodically as they fill up and as I complete them. So anyway, my friends, I hope this was helpful. I send you so much love. Bye.